please. Good morning. Uh, my name is Martha Green. Um, this is concerning the flyer passed out from the county for Scientology. Um, Martha, you need to pull that uh, microphone closer to you. Okay, okay there you, you. go. Um, I was in Scientology for 29 years, so I consider myself an expert. I've been protesting Scientology along with anonymous and other human rights activists at least monthly for two years. I know Scientologists believe that if you publicly criticize them, you have hidden crimes. They will investigate you, and if they cannot find hidden crimes, they will manufacture them. This is Hubbard, in his own words, from a policy letter of 15 August 1960. If attacked on some vulnerable point by anyone or anything or any organization, always find or manufacture enough threat against them to cause them to sue for peace. I consider this flyer reckless, actually. And I think it needs to be addressed. And I sincerely hope that this flyer does not put any protesters in harm's way. Thank you. Thank you, Martha. Yes, please just come on, come on up. My name is Rose Velasco, and good morning. And I've resided in Santa Clara County for 55 years. I'd like to thank you for the opportunity to state a concern I have on a flyer that was sanctioned by one of your employees, Delorme McKee Stovall, who is employed at the Network for a Hate-Free Community and South County Speak Out. I'm an ex-cult member from an organization known as Scientology. My family, ex-members, and anonymous have peacefully protested every month for the last two years. Each one of us has a personal motivation, mission, and goal. We have joined in union to educate our community about the dangers of mind control, also known as Scientology. Personally, I feel neither Ms. McKee Stovall nor the county have any right to label us a hate group or disaffected members. This cult has destroyed families, children, driven members, and ex-members to suicide, and is a criminal organization that is cloaked under the pseudonym Church of Scientology. Please conduct an investigation and provide us with proof of the crimes that this flyer proclaims we've committed. We will continue to pursue this matter until it is righted, and thank you for your time. Thank you. Yes, please come forward. Yes. Thank you. My name is Rod Brown, and I also am speaking about the protest in Scientology. I was the next member also. And I am protesting not human, I am not protesting religion, I am not protesting the people who believe in a religion, I am protesting the actions of a group that will coerce its members into having abortions. I am protesting a group that the American Psychiatric Association called a hate group recently. I am protesting a group that Dr., or excuse me, Father John Coleman of the St. Ignatius Church in San Francisco recently called a totalitarian cult. Now, I have no problem with any of their beliefs. They can believe anything they want. But when they say that they will manufacture evidence against people because they are protesting the church, then there's something seriously wrong with them. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Good morning. My name is Will Fry, and I'm uh, addressing the same issue. I am an ex-Scientologist who has recently been protesting against the abuses of the Church of Scientology, some of which I have personally experienced, and I implore you all to find out what those abuses are just simply by searching my name on YouTube. On February 12th, a county employee, Ms. McKee Stovall, decided to use taxpayer money to print a flyer defaming the protesters. We were given no chance to read the flyer before it was passed out to neighbors. When we finally were able to see this flyer, it turned out to be full of unsubstantiated claims about the protesters, implying that they participated in hate crimes such as slashing tires, breaking windows, and burning a school bus. Ms. McKeesteval has so far refused to explain where and when these things occurred and how the incidents were possibly tied to the protesters. I, found it, I find it outrageous that the county time and money was spent printing and distributing a defamatory flyer with no basis. I would like an apology and a retraction from Ms. McKeesteval and the county. As am I, so too should Ms. McKeesteval be ashamed in allowing herself to be manipulated by this cult, which seeks to um, remove from its members the right to free speech as well as other basic human rights and furthermore seeks to destroy its critics be they members of the press or government anonymous protesters 
or ex-members who, simply by exercising our rights to free speech, seek to expose the secret truths and day-to-day -day criminal activities from within their inner sanctums, which to this day has virtually no oversight from the United States of America. And I thank you all on your time here today in bringing us one step closer to putting that oversight in place. Thank you so much. Thank you.